Hello everybody, and welcome to a new video made by me. Me and only me. Um, so, this one is fan art, gore fan art, for a girl on an app that I had downloaded, and they wanted bloody rose quartz gem gore. They asked if I did that, and I was like, of course I still do that. <sighs> and this is just going to be a kind of, you know, talking video. You know, I'm just going to talk to you guys about my life. And you're going to get to know more about me and stuff that I like and other things like that. I'll start with, like, I really like dogs. If you didn't get that from my first video, I really like dogs. I have two dogs, actually. One is a old German Shepherd. Her name is Snickers, and her muzzle is going white because she's old. And the other one's name is Sugar, who may or may not have a kind of growth that might be a tumor on her chest. We don't know yet, but I'm just thinking that maybe it's not a tumor. Maybe it's okay. Maybe everything's all right. I just like to wish things away. That's all right. You need to have positive thinking. And... I work at places, I do things, I'm adjusting in my chair now because I'm a little shit. I am majorly inspired by Walter Elias Disney. And why? Because he is a legend. Whenever I was a kid, I grew up with um, lots and lots of uh, Disney imagery around me. Because, I mean, whenever you're a kid, you're always watching Disney movies. Well, at least in my house, I was always watching Disney movies. And my parents once told me that we used to go to Six Flags all the time, where we are. And we ended up, like, my brother and I ended up getting buzzed out of it. So then they took us to Disney, and we never got buzzed out of that, so they ended up just going back every summer instead, instead of going to Six Flags. And, uh, and so I guess a really big growth for <laughs> Disney um, stemmed from that. But I also remember like watching, and this is probably a lot of inspiration that a lot of people have that are artists, possibly. I mean, I could just be, you know, throwing myself onto other artists. I, I mean, everybody's inspired by different things. I know a girl that is inspired by Mermaid Melody. She's always really inspired by Mermaid Melody. But I remember specifically Little Mermaid and um, I know there was another one. It was Ariel, I think Belle. But every time I saw pretty ladies in cartoons, I always wanted to look like that pretty lady. I always wanted to have the kind of hair they have, have the kind of eyes they have. And if I couldn't have it, I wanted to draw like that. So I remember like really wanting to make pretty ladies whenever I drew. I wanted to make pretty ladies. And I really hope that this <laughs> doesn't get attacked by a lot of like, a lot of, like, people, their social justice that are all just, like, you know, ladies don't have to be pretty, that's not the only thing that they can be. Because I saw, I saw that, they, I scrolled past it, I scrolled past it, there's a little kid, and the little kid was, uh, upset because one side of the thing was girls' shirts, and it said, you know, you're beautiful, and, um, fabulous, and the other one was, be an adventure, be a hero, and I had got to the point where the captions had said, you know, I'm upset because they don't want girls to be, you know, adventurous, and they don't want them to go and be, um, heroes, whatever, stuff like that. And, you know, I think that's just not true. I think that's not true at all. No. And, of course... You know, it's a little kid getting upset by it. Oh, gosh, it's cute. I hate children, actually, so actually it wasn't cute for me. I don't like children. I don't like little creatures that cry. And why are they crying? I don't know, but they're crying, and they're small little creatures. 
and I'm not I'm not one of those people that's just like I'm gonna go out of my way to like I just want to terrorize children no I mean I have a nephew and he's a great little kid child thing and I like since he's a little child I don't care for the little childness that much but I do love him because he's family and you know but I will terrorize him somewhat like I'll try and like spook him out like we went to Disney this this year I spooked him out because we were on the Haunted Mansion he laughed at me but I'm, I'm gonna scare this kid this kid's not natural but anyways so like this little girl's talking about her how they don't want girls to be adventurers and heroes and they don't want them to explore and that's not true because Tangled do you know who's the explorer? Rapunzel. She's an explorer and she saves the prince in that film. Again I know I'm coming back to Disney but I don't really care. I don't really care. Elsa I, I think she's a hero and she's a queen so, I mean, you can't, can't say that. And it's kind of also, like, back and forth with it. Because I know also where you'll go out and you'll see, like, cute little shirts for females and males. And they'll just, I know they'll have, a, like, a lot of things, you know, when you promote body positivity, promote, you know, all girls are beautiful. Well, I think anybody can buy those shirts. And, you know, if girls have such a problem with thinking that they're beautiful and they might not be, you know, as strong or confident as other girls, then how come it's such a bad thing that we have shirts that say girls are beautiful, that girls are pretty? What is wrong with that? I mean, and boys have shirts around that say boys are handsome that, you know, say boys are good looking as well. Oh, well, you know, handsome like daddy or something like that. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Nothing is wrong with that. I just thought that, you know, and a lot of people that have kids or like kids will probably think, oh, that's so cute, but I, I don't know. I thought it was stupid. Again, probably... It's probably reinforced by the idea that I just don't like children. I don't like the little children things. My friend calls them crib gremlins. So shout out to you, Shelby. Crib gremlins. Whoa. But I thought that was pretty great. So we'll go with crib gremlins. Always not a supporter of crib gremlins. Oh, God. I, I know... Lots of people are like, oh yeah, you know, so what about whenever you have kids? You mean the seven puppies that I'm going to name after the seven dwarfs? Is that what you mean? Oh man, I gotta have a lot of puppies. I'm not kidding. I get a calendar from my uh, family every year because my dad photoshops faces on the family calendar it's the family calendar it's literally the family calendar it's been like this for years I forgot how long it's been like this and that's one of the presents we give to people during Christmas and they have faces of family members and there's different themes for it all throughout you know the different years this year is um uh, Star Wars I don't know what next year's theme is and Dad, if you're watching this, I hope it's not the Smurfs because I fucking hate the Smurf idea. Don't do it. Like this video if you think that it should not be Smurfs. If you think it should not be Smurfs. Encourage. Encourage and reinforce the idea of no Smurf family calendar. Please. Help me. Anyways. But yeah, so I get this calendar every year. And I'm totally down. I like having this calendar, and I don't have to get another calendar, except for whenever I went to Walmart with Ron, and there were puppy calendars, and I saw it, 
I was like, oh no! Looks like Gina's getting a second calendar! So now I have to mark off the days of the calendars on two calendars. But for October, it's the two little Rottweilers on a briefcase. It is so cool. I think they're on a briefcase because for Halloween, they're, they're businessmen. There are two of them. Or business ladies. They can be whatever they want. They're so cute. Yeah, they are. I love them. <laughs> I love my puppies too. But I like, I think the Rottweilers are super cool. And, oh gosh, I wonder what the next family calendar is going to be. I, I want to vote, I want to vote kings and queens. And my, my picture has to be Elsa because I am the ice queen. Oh man, we haven't done Disney characters yet. We should do that. That would be great. That would be awesome. It's not Smurfs. Not Smurfs. Not Smurfs. No. Oh, God. And see, this is, again, this is one of the bad things about this. I can't find a topic. Six Flags is okay. You know? The one that we have around here is kind of, like, really janky. Like, I don't know. They don't keep it up very well. Yeah. It's just, you can't capture magic like, okay, alright, so we went to Disney one um, Christmas, and I kept thinking while I was there, I didn't want to say it out loud because that obviously was a pretty stupid thought, or at least I thought it was a pretty stupid thought, is like, oh man, I wonder, you know, if it snowed while we were at Disney. That would be pretty darn magical. Like, it's December, we're here, that would be pretty darn magical. Well, while we were there, then at the end of the day, whenever we were, you know, looking for gifts to go and bring back for, like, souvenirs and for other people, I usually always get pens, not pens, but pins, sorry, for my friends. And, um, Actually, I've got Shelby addicted to it, which is good. Get addicted. Get addicted. It's good for you. I love Disney pin trading. I always get a lany lanyard, and I always get more pins. And I've started to do Donald Duck theming on my pins, because Ron likes Donald Duck, and I didn't get to see him for like a whole week the last time we went, so I missed him. I was feeling pretty... um sad about that. So I decided to get Donald Duck pins in order to uh, fill the gaping hole in my heart. I am pretty melodramatic. Melodramatic? Pretty dramatic? But I don't care. Because... Because I can. Oh gosh, but so yeah, while we were looking for souvenirs while we were at Disney, I actually looked outside and I saw big, thick flakes just falling from the sky and I'm like no fucking way it is not snowing at Disney right now and when I went outside it was man made of course I'm not going to say what it was because I'm not going to ruin the Disney magic and I don't do that shit but holy shit I am not kidding it snowed while we were at Disney they made it snow and that was pretty damn magical that moment was like one of the most magical moments. I am not kidding. And they have a lot of other really cool shit at Disney that I could talk them up for like days. I am not kidding. Oh god. I wouldn't be sorry for talking them up either. Oh god. Talk up Disney for days. Oh. It's a good place. It's a good place. Hell ain't a bad place. I've also been to Hell, Michigan. They do serve ice water in hell, and they also serve ice cream. And they were the only, that trip, that vacation that we had, it was the only freaking vacation that I could not find any chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream except for in hell. Of all the places, Hell, Michigan is where I find 
ice cream. Chocolate chip ice cream. Everywhere else I could not find chocolate chip ice cream. That was just ridiculous. I was I was very upset with this. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> ridiculous. I can't. They Everyone should just cater to my needs. Everyone should just be like, oh my god. Gina. What do you want? Do you want chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream? Fuck. Yes, I do. And then, like, I should, I should be like, Vlad the Impaler, impale them if they don't cater to my needs. Kill them. Anyway, um, no, I don't think I can kill them. Um, so, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video, and you should, guys, should leave a like if you think that there should be no Smurfs in the family calendar that is coming up. No Smurfs! Like this video, please. Anyway. And, uh, subscribe. If you want to subscribe. If you don't, I don't judge. That's fine. Um, check out my Tumblr. And, I'll see you guys in the next video. And, as always, guys, make sure that you stay cool and frosty in the month of October. And stay spoopy. Don't be like Rose Quartz with stuff sticking out of her. And... Again, just stay cool, guys. See ya. Hey, everybody. Before I finished up this video, I also wanted to point you guys towards a guy named Jeff Holiday, who is raising funds for hurricane relief in Haiti. So if you want, you can go over to his channel. I'll put a link to his channel and also a link towards his donation for Hurricane Relief in Haiti. And once again, thanks for watching. Bye!